In Littlefield, we have an update on the school district's expansion projects after last year's bond election. It broke ground today on its new high school. That's exciting, and KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Michelson joins us from where the new building will house the next generation of Wildcats. Brittany? Karen and Abner, I'm standing here at what used to be the softball field, but it's where you'll see the new Littlefield High School in about a year and a half. And then further east of us, the old high school will be renovated to become the new junior high. Now, it's been about a year since voters here approved a $41.5 million bond to build these new facilities, and those taxpayers, educators, students, they were all out here today to celebrate this first step in construction. Now, along with the new high school will come a career and technical education center and high school principal Amber Hayes says she's really excited about the expanded opportunities that that facility will bring for her students. We want to be able to turn around and also feed these kids back into our community with great skills. So they're productive members of our community and, and this is gonna do that. You can get your education, come back, you can finish your associates here and stay. You you can have, you know, a certificate in many industry-based certifications and go right to work right here in our community and make a good living. Hayes says they hope to have the new high school done by about Christmas 2024. That way students can get in and have a few months before that first class will graduate from here in 2025. Now we'll hear more about how these facilities will meet some needs they're seeing right now tonight at 10. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Brittany.